Can you solve this math Olympiad question? Let's have a go at it step by step together. The problem is difficult because the variable appears in the exponent once and in the base once. And this reminds me of a video where we solved the problem involving x to the power of x. And the strategy back then was to try and make the base and the exponent match. So let's do something similar here. But first, let's do this manipulation. Let's raise both sides to the power of 1 over 32 t. This will cancel the t from the left and the 32 from the right. And this gives us what we aimed for. x to the 1 over x equals some number. So if we can express that number as something to the power of 1 over itself, then x must be that number. Makes sense? Okay. We have 2 in the base and 32 in the reciprocal of the exponent. So we want to increase 2 and decrease 32, ideally. We can do this by exploiting laws of indices. For example, if we multiply the fraction top and bottom by 2, then using laws of indices, we can rewrite this as 4 to the power of 1 over 64. We successfully increased 2, but 32 was also increased to 64. So are we failing? Here's the thing. The 32 was doubled but 2 was squared. If we keep this going, we'll catch up because squaring grows much faster than doubling. So if we repeat this process, we get 16 to the power of 1 over 128, and one more time gives us 16 squared, which is 256 to the power of 1 over 256. So, this means t must be 256. Here's the thing though. This is only one solution to the exponential equation. By inspection, you may think that a number just over 1 would also work. Also, if you were to take a look at a graph of the two functions, then you would see three intersections. So, here's my question for you. How can we present a complete solution? How can we find all three answers? Can we use logs? Let me know what you think in the comments below.